Good afternoon, families. It is Thursday, May 2nd, 2023, and I'm coming to you with our robot roundup vlog for the week. So we'll start off with our top two. Next week is screen-free week. So students are exposed to lots of devices and screen time. And while educational screen time is good, there are limits and downsides to screens, especially on young and developing brains. So I've dropped in our email a link to the American Psychological Association's digital guidelines that promote healthy technology use in children. They suggest that for children from two to five, even up to six, that you limit screen time to about one hour to, per day of high quality programming. So like think PBS, not necessarily Fruit Ninja. So just some food for thought and just kind of think about as the weather gets better, getting outside, taking walks, doing some of those good things that don't involve screens. Uh, number two, our Scholastic Book Fair is coming this next week, Thursday, May 9th. We are going as a class. So for those of you who have returned that flyer that just kind of gives us some information about how if you are sending some money, uh, your student would have that, that would be fantastic. We appreciate it. Um, as always, creating the e-wallet is probably one of the best and simplest ways for buying a book. And then it also does not complicate it with needing change and things like that for all of our students. If, you got, if you're sending cash and money, that's okay. We'll do our very best, but it definitely is very tricky for lots of kiddos. Uh, let's get into our vlog points for the week. This weekend is the 20th anniversary of the Shorewood Seed Foundation Swing Gala. Um, it's this Saturday, May 4th, 2024. Uh, check the Beagle Bulletin for some of the details. Now, if you are going, I will absolutely see you there because I am going and I have with me one of the donations that I have in the silent auction right here with me. This is a 1990 original release Super Nintendo that I have personally, professionally replaced all of the electrolytic capacitors inside. I have employed a chemical bath to remove all the aging and yellowing from the plastics, which happens over time. I have replaced the battery backups in both these two amazing games, Super Mario All-Stars and Super Mario World. I have professionally replaced and restored both two controllers. It has brand new power and AV hookups. If you are a vintage video game enthusiast or you're looking to become one or just a fan of this system at all, um, this is a fantastic way uh, to become uh, an enjoyer of the vintage video game phenomenon that has been happening. Uh, this is something that I do as a side business. I fix and repair old systems, and I just wanted to highlight the fact that this system is in the auction, and it is at least a $350 value. That's usually what I would sell them for, um, and um, I hope it goes to a great home. So please click the link if you are interested, or send it to someone who might be that uh, would support our phenomenal Shorewood Seed Foundation in phonics this week and reading. We've started uh, reading group centers again, and this week, working through our four centers on Thursdays and Fridays, uh, we've changed our high frequency words and have been working through 12 different long vowel silent eBooks, as well as some vowel team books. That's where there's two vowels right next to each other, um, as well as some digraphs, things like TH, WH, CH, SH, words and things that we have been encountering as we've been working through our book boxes. Uh, the students are mostly working on their independent reading and decoding. Uh, most of the students um, just need a little bit more confidence. They know how to do this stuff, but they're nervous to read bigger and bigger books on their own. And when they get to things that they don't remember how to do, they get a little nervous and want someone to just tell them and show them the way. And that takes just a lot of practice, practice, practice and finding good books. So that's what we've been working on. In math, we've started our final module of our math curriculum, module six, which is place value foundations. Uh, we've been learning to work uh, what's called a math push-up. So it's like if we're counting on our fingers, 10, counting bigger than 10 is tough because you've only got 10 fingers. So a push-up would look like this. You'd put up one 10 and kind of push it up and imagine holding it in your rain. One 10, two 10, Three tens, three tens would be 10, 20, 30. Um, we've also been counting and saying and writing numbers the tens way. So for example, the number 13 would be one ten three because when you literally break down the number, it's one group of 10 and three more ones, 13. 
Um, the subitizing our math this way is how we teach bigger and bigger numbers, uh, but still maintain the ability to like manipulate those numbers and add and subtract by not getting stuck on how large the pieces and parts are, because as long as you can manipulate and grapple numbers within 10, a larger number shouldn't be any different. Um, in science, we have observed our eggs, which are over here. And I got to tell you, we had some interesting kind of grossiness. So our, our, our cola egg, well, it got a cavity hole. Ugh. And we did try brushing it, but it still kind of looks stained. We had our, we had our, our orange juice egg, but uh, the orange juice kind of like peeled away some of the eggshell, some of the tooth enamel. So, yee. Our water egg, well, our water egg is just fine. Just, just fine as can be. So water's good for your teeth. But boy, oh boy, our sugar egg, our vinegar egg, it's like a, it's like a rubbery ball. There's nothing left. It's pretty gross. So that was interesting. Good to know. Fun to touch. And now I want to wash my hands because, um, but, uh, it's just interesting. It's, it helps us remember that we got to brush our teeth after every time we drink or eat things, especially sugary and acidy snacks like sodas, juices, and candy, of course. Now, moving on, this week, we then started a unit in our five senses. Bum, bum, bum. And we started this week, and the next five weeks, we're going to be exploring um, all about our five senses. So, Sight, hearing, touch, smell, taste. Um, this week we looked into our sense of sight and we discovered that it's pretty interesting. Our eye actually perceives the way light comes into it, everything around us upside down. We actually see upside down, but our brains flip and interpret what we see in that image in our brain so it looks right side up, which is pretty wild. Now, tomorrow, don't tell any students this because it's a special secret. But tomorrow, we're going to try a drawing experiment, drawing a self-portrait without our eyes open. Completely closed, try to draw our face. So we'll see how good those go. And um, just in case you're wondering before we I let you go, there's something else that's been in the classroom. This is my 3D printer. Right now it is printing some stuff in 3D. Um, we've got some... Things that have entered our classroom. We've got uh, oh, just you know a couple of things that uh, might populate and pop up in uh, in our classroom from time to time. Let me help you see that because I noticed that it's kind of hard to see. But we've got uh, our three D printer here. We've also got this little coding robot. His name is Sphera. We're going to be doing some uh, coding and roboting uh, in our classroom. And um, science is cool. This is the time to do it. So. I hope you are happy. I hope you are healthy. I hope you are enjoying some of our just gorgeous weather and getting outside. So if I see you this weekend at the Shorewood Swing Gala, fantastic. If not, we will have a good time, hopefully raising some amazing funds for all of the things that we do here in Shorewood for all the teachers, because it's important. We couldn't do it without you, and uh, it's a great place to be. So thank you for all the things that have been happening for Teacher Appreciation Week. and. Have a wonderful weekend. See you next week. Okay, bye.